whole staff. Outstanding. Started with Kennedy. You know, I talked to Ian uh, three days before this start, and I told him, I said, look, I don't see any reason to start you in this game. I just don't. And he said, well, look, I feel really good. I'd like to make the start. You know, if I can start this game, it's it's eight straight years with 30 starts, uh, which is a goal. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a good goal. It shows that you've got some uh, durability. And I told him, okay, I'll do it. But if I see something I don't like, I'm going to come get you. All right? First inning was good. Second inning was okay. Started to get under the ball. Uh, third inning, he was under the ball again. And I told Dave, I said, uh, you know, get Gaviglio up. No, I'm not I'm not liking the way he's getting under the ball. And it was real funny because Ian told me when he came in, he said, I heard the phone, and I looked down at the bullpen, and I thought to myself, I better make an adjustment. And he did. Um, he did. He started getting back on top of the ball, got through the third, got through the fourth, and then did a great job of getting through the fifth to give himself an opportunity after Witt's home run you know, to get his first win of the year here at home, which is amazing. If you'd have told me at the beginning of the year Kennedy was going to win his last start and it would be his first one of the year at home, I wouldn't have believed it. But, you know, that's a little deceiving, too, because, uh, you know, he had some great starts here in April and May, and we just couldn't score runs for him. But uh, he was fantastic. And then the bullpen, you know, to, to help him get that win. I mean, what a job they did from Moylan to Alexander to Herrera to Soria getting a big double play on J.D. Martinez and then um, Miner closing it out for us. How much are you seeing right now those bullpen arms feeding off of one another? Uh, they are ju uh, they just, you know, since the middle of August, they went through that little rough streak for about two weeks, and then they just all kind of caught their second win, and they were right back to where they were in June and July. It always feels better when you get to Granky in the first inning, give yourself an early Well, start. you know, Haas got a uh, base hit against the shift. He beat the shift there, and, um, you know, to get that first run. And uh, you just know against this team they're pitching so outstanding that, um, you know, scoring opportunities are, are going to be tough to come by. So to take the lead there was good. Came right back out and gave uh, gave up a home run on a high fastball to Lamb. But, uh, you know, what's homer was uh, all we needed. Alexander strikeout in the sixth are kind of the, maybe the biggest moment for the pen. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. I think it's probably a bigger moment. Uh, Soria getting a double play off of J.D. Martinez, who's having a fantastic year, uh, making pitches there and getting a double play. It was equally as big. Um, and, and Witt's homer, he's, he's one homer away from that, that 2030 club you talked about earlier. Yeah, well, he's probably, he told me today he was six inches away from having 21, and I told I had to correct him and say, no, he's probably 14 inches away from having 21 because he missed the foul ball last night by about six inches and uh, or eight inches, and then the, home, the double he hit off the wall and missed going out by like six inches. But uh, he's having a fantastic year nonetheless.